Wheat School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. We're here at our Brunkhild uh, experimental site where we're doing research on high yielding spring wheat. We've got a couple varieties of spring wheat here. A high yielding uh, Canadian Western Red spring wheat with Brandon. We've also got a, a Northern Hard Red wheat, a high yielding Prosper variety. And we're working with different nitrogen treatments to look at updating our nitrogen recommendations for these high, high yielding spring wheats. Our, our past recommendations um, you know, only carry us up to a yield potential of 50 bushels the acre with uh, Nipawa spring wheat. So um, whatever we develop from this will be a lot better than what we've, what we've had historically. We've got mid-season nitrogen going on with Agrotain treated uh, enhanced efficiency nitrogen fertilizer at stem elongation and heading. We've also got some foliar post-anthesis nitrogen going on as, as some diluted 2800 as well as some diluted uh, dissolved urea in water. Just trying to see what we can do to manipulate uh, yield with uh, most of the treatments and then just protein with the post-anthesis nitrogen sprays. Well, the last time we did publicly funded research on uh, wheat yields and nitrogen fertilizer recommendations was actually about 45 years ago. And so we were dealing with lower yielding wheat varieties at the time and we didn't have the agronomic packages to grow the high yielding wheats that we have today. And if we use that standard rule of thumb that we used to have, two and a half pounds of N per bushel of uh, wheat yield goal, that would mean that if you were aiming for 100 bushels the acre of spring wheat, you'd have to have 250 pounds of nitrogen in your soil and your fertilizer combined. And that's a huge amount of nitrogen to put on all at once and it's a huge amount of nitrogen to put on at any time but especially the agronomic risk of having lodging and disease means that we have to take a look at alternative strategies in managing our nitrogen mid-season uh, maybe some controlled release products um, maybe some some different rates for these different varieties as well, well there was uh, some uh, some pilot scale uh, work last year uh, that John Hurd did with the um, with the crop diversification centers in Manitoba. Um, we've, we're in the first full year of what I would call uh, detailed intensive studies. We've got another year next year. Uh, we'll be sharing our interim results uh, sometime this winter, but it'll really be a year and a half from now before we have something that I would regard as more reliable or definite. <music>